Hello and welcome to Stuart's Top 5 Education AR Apps. For those that don't know, AR stands for Augmented Reality. And these are quite common apps in the classroom and outside of the classroom. But I've chosen um, five from the many, many, many that are currently on the iOS store. Um, and I've split them down, or got them down to five just for you. We're going to have a look at each of them and then a short video of how it works in action. So without further ado, let's make a start. At number five, we have Sketch AR. Sketch AR is a brilliant app for budding artists. If you yourself are either a beginner or someone who's pretty good with a pencil or pen, it's a fantastic app. As you can see from the picture, how it works is it projects an image onto a blank page and allows you to trace over it making um, quite complex drawings seem quite easy. As you can see, this is how Sketch AR works. You're given a project, such as the one I've drawn a little kitty here. You find a white or blank sheet of paper. And when you hover your phone over, as I'm doing now, you'll see you get a vague outline of the shape. Now, whenever you hit next step, it will break down the shape into its various parts and you're invited to then draw while holding the camera. Now before you actually start your drawing it will ask you what hand you prefer to draw with. In this case I chose right hand. So as you can see here I'm drawing the shapes as best as I can over the top of the visualized lines, the guidelines I suppose you would call them. Um, they are on there on the sheet and if you happen to move the uh, paper they will adjust as you'll see a couple of times I accidentally moved the piece of paper that I'm drawing on and you don't have to stick exactly to them as you see my head is slightly off but it gives you a really good guideline now I would recommend you use pencil for these drawings because you will want to rub out certain lines mistakes you make I use pen um, and as you can see it can make a few mistakes and a few marks that I want to get rid of or to smooth out later on um, in the actual picture so you follow the guidelines and as you keep hitting next step you're in full control of when you move on to the next step it gives you a different set of lines to draw on it's giving me my round part for our circle you come up with a pretty good drawing in all honesty uh, whether you are a, a budding artist or whether you're someone that finds drawing very difficult i can see this being a really enjoyable app and something that I would usually recommend to teachers, especially art teachers, but also to primary school pupils as well, because um, especially when they have the time, it can be a brilliant thing to learn how to draw um, certain characteristics and certain types of animals and all sorts of things, really. Um, there is a subscription option for the app, um, but there's an awful lot of free content there available. And as you'll see here, we're just finishing off with a few marks above the eyes and into the ears. And as you'll see here, when I jump out and into my camera, what it actually looks like without the lines is as follows. There we go. I think that looks really good. At number four, we have Quiver. Quiver is one of the more well-known AR apps and certainly one that I see being used a lot um, in early years and foundation stage and increasingly so in Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 of primary schools. It's an app that really encourages pupils to colour in neatly and accurately. Something that really some pupils, certainly ones I've taught, would, in my opinion, quite honestly, question. The question you would get quite often as a teacher is, why do I need to stay within the lines? And in all honesty, that's a very good question. Why do you need to? Or would there be any cause and effect for not actually colouring in within the lines, apart from my teacher maybe not being too happy? Well, as you'll be able to see, there is an effect, there's an actual effect in how this works. If you do it neatly, there will be a better result. As you can see from the picture here, what this essentially does is it makes your pictures come to life. Quiver, as you're about to see, 
makes your drawings come to life. So when you click into the Quiver app, um, you'll be invited to use your camera to scan one of the pre-made colouring in sheets that you can download from the Quiver website. And as you can see here, when you scan it with your camera in the app, the drawing literally comes to life. You can even tap the drawing as I just did there and that it will react. So you get a real cause and effect to what actually happens when you're drawing. Now as you can see from just below the little fish bowl, this is the colouring in sheet that I actually did. And those colours that I used are represented accurately in the AR object moving around in front of me. This is brilliantly effective for pupils of all ages. At number three we have got Jig Space. Jig Space is an app that I see used more commonly in Upper Key Stage 2 and definitely in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. It is an app that projects a virtual image of something onto any surface, whether it's a floor or a table or a desk, whatever you want. It allows you to manipulate that, ob manipulate that object turn it around, change it, make it bigger, make it smaller, and more impressively, go inside those objects. So when you're doing STEM activities or even activities that involve a bit of exploration, it is absolutely invaluable. Like all the ones so far, it's completely free, and it's something that I would use, would have used a lot when we were doing World Around Us or science work. You can see the example they give you is a heart. I'm going to show you now some more examples of how it works. When you open up the Jig Space app, you are presented with a range of different topics that are in your library. Um, these range from topics such as science topics, history topics, some numeracy topics, generally focusing on the STEM or STEAM um, range of topics. Um, I've just picked a couple here to show you. Now there will also be ones that are featured, as you can see one very relevant one would be the coronavirus one, which we'll have a look at in a little minute. Now what's brilliant about Jigspace as an app is it allows us to recreate or visualise objects in AR, so augmented reality. You simply tap on the object, in this case we've chosen our jet engine, and you tap on the surface you'd like to place it. So I've placed it on a little rug here in my living room. And it gives you some information down the sides here, information about the jet engine that you could read aloud to your class or the group looking. Now if you press the arrows in the bottom right hand of the screen to go back and forth, it will take you through a step by step of how this actually works. A bit like an extremely realistic and interactive PowerPoint. If we choose the coronavirus one as an example, I'll show you some other another feature that it has. So obviously you can it will update for free um with a regular assortment of different um AR objects. In this case we've got coronavirus, um, I believe cells, probably the word there, and some information at the bottom again that you can read out or get the pupils to read. Now as I hit the arrows it, it develops and the story develops and the lesson develops to include more information. As you can see, I'm able to move these around my object or my area, sorry, and my objects can be made bigger or smaller. Again, we can take a step back or tip forward to make things bigger or smaller. And we can even rotate the objects to get a different view, especially useful when we're looking at labels and things like that. As mentioned, this is used increasingly in Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 classrooms. At number 2, coming down to the final 2 now. At number 2, we have merge or what's called the merge cube now i mentioned at the very start of the video that all the apps i will be showing you are completely free and that is completely true merge actually make a number of different apps i've only shown you one here but a number of different apps that are all free they do however use something called a merge cube and as you'll see in a moment or so that a merge cube is literally what you're looking at there it is a cube it's a foam cube with certain um, ar patterns on it that allow certain apps to recognize it and turn that merge cube into a virtual object now depending on what app you get it depends that will signify what your merge cube is turned into so in the picture we have 
This is the Merge Dig app, which again is free, and it turns your cube into a Minecraft-esque cube, which you can dig away at and mess around by tapping on it with your finger, which is really, really cool and great for creating little art pieces or even just doing a bit of, um, you know, fun digging work or even STEM activities. Um, there, there are uh, about 20 different Merge apps, mer uh, ranging from ones that look at the human body to ones that are for games to ones that are to do with our solar system, which I'm about to show you in a little moment. They're all free, and the Merge Cube costs, and the Merge Cube itself costs about £20. Um, they're soft, so if you're getting it for a class, they are uh, very um, childproof, uh, for a better phrase, um, and I've found that I've had one for quite a long time, and it's lasted an awfully long time. But the amount of things that you can do with those apps is quite astonishing and certainly when you're wanting to uh, capture people's attention it's definitely one of the better apps to use. Let's have a look at it in action. The Merge company make a range of different Merge apps and I've just chosen one to show you as an example and with all of them you use the Merge Cube. As mentioned before and as you can see when you go into one of the apps in this case I've chosen Galaxy or Galactic Explorer and I use the camera within the app on my phone to scan the merge cube object it turns it into a real life movable image so in this case it's a little model of our solar system which as you're watching there you can see me twisting and turning it and moving it around you can even interact with the objects themselves by tapping on them such as the earth and getting more information or the sun and getting more information there it's turning because i'm turning the merge cube itself um in my hand this is tremendously effective when we're using um work uh, or we're focusing on certain topics I want to make come to life and as you'll also see it makes them um, um, you can use uh, landscape mode and you can use portrait mode as well and the final app number one my most used or most requested or my favorite AR app to use in the classroom is figment now Figment is an app that I discovered a couple of years ago whenever I was at BET in London. Um, Figment essentially transports you to a new place, a new area, a new location, somewhere you may not be able to go in real life or even without some equipment such as under the ocean or on an island or maybe even space. As you can see from the picture there and as you're about to see in more detail, it brings you to uh, four or five different choices by going through five different doors. Um, it will become much clearer in a little moment when I show you, but I've used this for so many different lessons. It's a fantastic way of encouraging pupils to actually think about imagination and pick up ideas and adjectives through actually seeing things. And whether they're all huddled around an iPad and you're all using it at the same time, or you're maybe casting it onto a panel, it doesn't matter. They're still able to see where they are, where they could be, where their story could be set and things like that. Um, it's a brilliant app and more importantly, it's completely free. Let's have a look at it in action. Figment transports you to a new location from anywhere in the world, including your classroom. So I've got the Figment app open on my phone and even though I'm outside, I can tap on one of these five doors at the bottom of the screen and it brings me to a new place, in this case, under the ocean. I use this for creative writing lessons to really inspire pupils to write and get some brilliant ideas for stories and it was fantastic. Even from just uh, imaginative play in early years all the way up to key stage two and beyond from actually picking up ideas and inspiration to write. Now, as you can see there I can go back and forth closer and further away from my door which gives a real sense of scope and scale. I can also add as many doors into my classroom or learning area as I want. I can dip in and out of these doors showcasing the fact that I can have a bit of range of locations and locales if I wanted to think of different adjectives or things like that. Overall it's a brilliant way of getting pupils to think outside of their classroom. You can also use your phone or your tablet to turn sideways to get a more expanded view where it works really well on a panel 
or even just on your iPad screen. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I'll include a link to all five of the apps in the description below if you are interested in downloading them. Some of them are available on the Google Play Store, but I'm not quite sure which ones, but they are all available on the iOS Store. And as mentioned, they are all free, free to download. Um, and the only one with any vague cost is the Merge Cube. Um, I've used these um, all the time as a teacher um, and I know that many of my colleagues um, still use them today. Um, thanks very much for watching. See you later. <music>